So, so let's talk a little bit about living big. Because when I was 28 years of age, I was anything but living big. Because on July 28th, 1992, me and my friend, I was working for him and his brother, we were lowering a metal ladder that hit electric lines that we didn't think we were going to hit. And about eight to 10,000 volts of electricity went into both of my hands and went out both of my feet. I had holes in them. And it killed me and it killed my friend Bruce, 36 with three kids. I came back. That's why the title of the book is Back from Heaven's Front Porch. So this whole notion of living big is something near and dear to passion of mine. And anything I do for the rest of my life will be connected to supporting all of us on that journey. And a vision is the ability for us to imagine something that needs to be real. And as I've talked with you over these past 30 minutes, hopefully you saw two gifts in, in what I presented to you. We all have the gift every moment, every day, to develop a vision for ourselves. Even when life sucks, here's the question. What's it going to be like when it doesn't? That's your vision. The characteristics of a strong vision are this. It's a prediction of your future. It's in the past tense. It's already done. I'll talk to you about that. Very clear and detailed. When you think about something in detail, right? It creates that energy inside of you. Motivation usually comes outside. Inspiration is, you know, it's inside. It's a good inside game. So think to yourself, what in your process of going the distance do you do to inspire yourself? Do you have the same energy Monday morning as you do Friday? First one's develop vision, create reality. Vision is the ability for us to imagine something that's not real. Look, the culture of your company is, and as it continues to grow, the collective space of all of your beliefs. So my hope for you is that our time today got you to a place where you're going to start to apply some things in your question marks that are going to generate a whole lot more happiness for you and a lot more fulfillment. There you go, because your brain is, how many have children? And they go, mom, dad, I cleaned my room, I cleaned my room. And you look at it and go, oh, we have to define clean. Well, good job, good job, <laughs> working on it. How many of you do something that's not on your to-do list? You go right it just so you can mark it off. I already emailed John, but let me just write that and put a pen to it. I feel really good right now. 